All right, we're in the uh, Firelight Nine Hole Cup. I'm in my uh, odd odd account. I'm playing. I'm playing it in pro. I'm playing the Nine Hole Cups in pro, and then I'm using my odd odd account in the full tournaments as my practice account for my uh, 77 account. And so here we go. So what it took at the top here was 14s, no 13s in there. I'm thinking 13s. What top top 10 in the full bracket? Top 10, maybe with a 13, 14s, 15s. There's probably going to be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't somebody with a 16 at the top at, at, at the end. But we'll see how, we'll see how it rolls. Let's, let's see what happens in the weekend round. <clears throat> and I got a little lucky. I just, I picked up, picked up some shots here and there. The whole goal here is to try, I'm going to do the same, okay, I played my baby Ricky account and I actually had a pretty good, decent round, I gave myself an opportunity on, I had a look at it on every hole, but not every look was that good, but I did have a look at it, a really good look at it, probably on like five holes, and I fucking was just like off, and, and then tanked, and then, and then uh, collapsed under the pressure on hole number nine and dropped the shot. Let's see if we can do better. Let's see if we can just shoot a flat minimum score. And then, see, that's the deal. If you don't shoot a flat minimum score, you got the ambulance coming after you. And uh, and see if I can pick up. We need to pick uh, We need to pick up three. That's what I think. I think I need to shoot a 15 to do the deal, to do the do. So let's go. Let's go. And I am playing it. I am playing conservative because I'm playing in pro, so I am playing to get minimum score, but I'm trying to put myself in the right spot on every shot. Let's see where I came in. So somebody was above me right now, and they must have shot a 14 as well because they're at 70. So <clears throat> let's say there was a 15 or two in here. We got 10 brackets that came in, and there's two people from each one of those. So there's 20 people that came in with a 14 or better, maybe 10 somewhere in that neighborhood so somebody could pop up now what what happens a lot of times is you come in with a 14 and then you end up with a 13 and then somebody that shot a 13 ends up with a 15 because that's the type of course this is where you could you could catch a, a break here or there and and get the deal let's let's just I'm gonna glance at them hole number one I'm trying to just shoot it out into this area right here and have this shot coming up at it I don't know how far I can get up there, whether I can get out into this area and have that shot out it or whether I have to lay it up right here or what I have to do, but I'm going for this side. I don't like, if you get out here, this is super easy, but the deal is, is the second shot, it blows with this sand the way that it's trained up there. All right, let's roll. Let's see what we can get done. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we can get done with a, uh, with that bag. And a power three ball. Should I practice? Should I have one? Should I should I play one practice? I haven't I haven't played yet. Should I play like one practice just to get a feel? I feel like I should play one practice. I have some practice, so let's play one. Let's practice at once. See what the deal is. I think we had favorable wind on the shot. during the uh, qualifying round. I think I could actually play this with a katana. For some reason. For some reason I was think I, I have on my notes I think katana. It's got some similar stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can get up by that sign. Now, that fucking signs in play. That is so stupid, Playdemic. Like that's a pre that's premium spot right there. That's right at the tip of that. You got a you got a really decent angle to the cup. Anything to the left of that, you make your angle better. But that sign is right there, and that signs in play. 
I, I'm just frustrated by it. They can easily recover from there. Easily. Easily. Yeah, see, I can easily end up with all my top spin and all my side spin end up up in that area where I'm heading towards the sign. I'm going to be two rings off down here at the bottom. 6.4 six times 1.1 .1 divided by 1.5 is 4.69 rings. Rings are starting to get distorted. There's three, there's four. There's the 6.9. Oh fuck, and I tanked the drive. <laughs> that was two rings great. I, if I, oh, shit, I can't believe that I was able to get out of that. I can't believe I made it over. But you can see I was heading towards that sign. And that sign can come into play. And like, look at the whole freaking course and you put the sign out there and you put a sign in play. Those signs right there are in play. I mean, are you afraid people are going to come flying in there too hard and you want them to not end up in the drink? <clears throat> you could have your sign out there and you can do what you did on this sign right here where you sold the advertising space, but you can make it so the signs aren't in play. You do it with rocks and bushes and other shit. Why can't you do it with those signs? Great. All right, all right. We get, we have a shot right here, and I'm gonna do plus point one at club, plus point one to the cup. At club, wherever I'm at, where, where am I gonna be at? What am I in? I'm in Grizzly. There's Max Grizzly. There's Min Grizzly. I'm in Mid Grizzly, which is one point one. So five point two divided by one point one. 472482 482 There's the 8 there's 1 2 3 482. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if I got myself a shot. I needed to pull it, needed to, needed to pull it at least at 10%. At least. Let me turn my freaking grid on. Get the old test pattern going. Test pattern. Alright. I must be playing against a replay. A replay already. Come on. All right. All right. I gave myself a look at it. A look. I think on this next hole... I think if I'm not mistaken on this next hole, I can bring out man, every one of my bags has a sniper. I think I was playing some uh let's think. I could bring out a guardian right here. Guardian will go with that Goliath. Thor's hammer sniper. I think there is a hole here that I'm using a Thor's hammer. I think I'm going to use a guardian on this. Let's look at this hole. What hole are we on here? What hole are we on? We are on hole number one. Oh, 
now we're on hole number one. We haven't finished it yet. Uh, we, we practiced. Jeez, oh, I got caught up in the whole deal. I thought I was just out there playing it. All right, I tanked that shot. What could I have done better on that shot? I could have not tanked it. That's what I could have done. And I think that is still the bag. And that is still the ball. Okay. All right, I guess I'm starting now. The, the beginning of that was that was just prelude. That was just me getting getting uh, getting all of the rust out and getting back into playing mode. Like, let's see if we can hit perfects and just play, just play, just be in, just be one with the one with the swing. Finding going from Ricky Ricky to Pro and the wind speeds for the clubs, it throws me off. I play a couple Ricky accounts and then I play a Pro account and then it throws me off a little. With the needle speed, I, I do not like that shot over there. I don't. I said it before, I'll say it again. I do not like that shot. I do not. I do not like green eggs and ham. Okay, they got to where they want. Now let's see what they got for the second shot. And you tell me whether you like that second shot. And you did it to yourself. rings. I'm getting distortion down there at the bottom. And there's three, there's 4.25. And let's just try and hit it perfect. Let's not try. Let's do! Make sure you hit it past the fucking sign that they put out there. All right, I'm in the premium spot. I'm in the premium spot. All right, I'm gonna do plus one to the cup. I'm gonna do wherever I'm at my club plus point one. The one club that I I I love a hornet. A hornet's not a bad club, but I have in my 77 account a level seven kingfisher, and that is a freaking fantastic club and it is the one club that I don't have in this account that I miss the rest of them it's there's a few here and there and it's not that big a deal but right here it's a big deal five eight where am I at okay I'm right at max there's man there's mid and I'm, I'm at max it's one point I think it's 1.3 Spin. 5.9 5.9 divided by 1.3 Fuck, I'm going to run out of time 4.53 Fuck, I can't believe I got it off in time and I hit it perfect, but I did it wrong I, The pull was wrong <laughs> I got lost in the club. I, I forgot. I was looking at the wrong notes and I got lost in my club. I, I'm so used to hitting with the Kingfisher. I got to remember how to play with my Hornet. It's at 1.1, 1 1.3, 1 1.9. Damn it. All right. All right. I think we got a great shot on that hole. And I blew it. And I put myself in the perfect spot. A perfect spot. I could have gotten up there and brought out a bigger ball and tried to get jiggy with it and get up there, but and I'm doing that in my 77 account. I'm going for it on every hole, whatever the shot is to try. If there's a shot to get up on the green or get way down there, I'm going for it. 
but in pro you can get yourself in a little spot of bother and give yourself give yourself good opportunities i really think in pro if you can shoot a 14 right here you got a great shot of winning but it'll probably take a 15 or a 16. all right all right we came out of hole number one with nothing hole number two what am i doing on hole number two i'm i'm gonna try i'm gonna i think this is the one right here I'm trying a guardian and I'm gonna try a katana. 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 And I think. Where am I at? Where's my guardian? There's my guardian. Okay, I'm ready to roll. Wherever I'm at in my club, plus 30, plus. Man. Trying to think of how much to do feels like I need to do. I can't remember if I need to do more or less on this. It felt like it was this account I needed to do more on, so I'm going to do I'm going to do a I'm going to make I'm going to take a big swing at it, but I'm going to be way down in there. So, I can afford to take a big swing times. Hopefully. I have no idea where I'm going to be at. I can't remember what this whole place like in pro. I'm in Goliath. Now I'm in Guardian. Excellent. And there is Max. So I can get that far. Max backspin. Come out around right there. 5.6 divided by 1.1 7.12 rings there's 5, 6, 7, 1, 2 ah, oh, got it one ring great to the right I think I would have been short pretty sure you don't know how to roll out when it's over there. It could have been a little bit longer, but I think I still would have been short no matter what. I was leaving myself a little bit short of it because it does roll out down there. It does have a little bit of roll out. Even with that much backspin, it still rolled out a little. But it didn't roll out as much as I thought it would. I could have got closer. I don't know how much backspin my opponent used from that spot. But you can see their ball guy was terminating right at the cup. Let's see if it if it ends just like that or if it goes if it goes long. In my experience, it goes long. It rolls out. However much backspin you think you need, like if you're at the cup like that, you're using a club. And it's like that and you're and you're right there and you've got your stuff on, put one more backspin on. And if you don't have any more backspin, you need to pull back just a little. <laughs> it does roll out. Not as much as I it didn't it didn't roll out like I wanted it to though. I can tell you that. So I'm I'm as guilty as everybody else. Just a dumbass rookie. Just a dumbass rookie. Trying to play pro. All right, I think. I'm not sure if it was this hole or the other hole. I think it was the other hole. I'm going to bring out a Titan. Which way is the wind blowing? The wind's blowing with us. I'm going to bring out a Titan. The king. The king of balls. That's right, you heard it. You heard it here. I'm gonna bring out, I really would like to bring out my big topper, but I don't know. I think in this particular situation, my extra mile hits farther. I'm gonna take that bag right there. Well, wait a second, let me think. If I don't get to the right spot and I wanna hit the shot from down at the bottom, I really need to think about hitting it with a different club, but if I have to take the shot at the top, I'm going to take my sniper. 
That's the bag I'm taking right there. That's it. Here we go. Getting out on the course. If I can get an opponent. Jeez, what's the deal? Thank you, Eastwood. It's probably a replay, but thank you. Thank you, replay. I mean, Eastwood. Eastwood goes first. It's the Michigan Mafia. Now, if I take that shot where I'm doing that and I'm pushed up against the red line out there, I'm going to want my ball guide to be rubbing up against the rough on the left-hand side going through. And that'll be my start spot because if I add curl onto it, that means that I'm it, it automatically pulls me away from that. But what you don't want to do is over curl on your, at the end of your run. There's a fine line. You're going to walk it. Now if you have to shoot from back here. And I'm going to be excited when I get that big topper to level 8. Give me a little bit of, little bit of breathing room. I'm going to be close up here. Give myself a little room. I'm going to add on 10%, that would be 7. It's 2 per ring. There's 6. 2.5 rings is 7. And I'm going to lean just a little. Hitting it perfect. And that will separate me on the top fairway and put me more right down towards the middle. Make sure that I can, the angle that I'm going, I can utilize that fairway and make sure I have access to all of it. All of it! I should be in the perfect spot, and I am doing 1 to 1 plus 10%. Okay. I think I'm in mid club, but I'm going to do 1 to 1 plus 10%. I have no idea what it should be. This is what I'm doing. Okay, there's Max. I do have access if I wanted to try that rough bump, but I don't. I'm too a little too close in there. Let's make sure I'm going right to the cup. I am doing 1 to 1 plus 10%, so 7.5 times 1.1 is 8.25 rings. There's 5, 6, 7, 8 and a quarter. Exactly. Hitting it perfect. Get in the hole. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over pulled it. This hole has been a fucking moving target because I did where I, I did. I was adding on 10%, but I'm in mid club, so it's 1.1, and the 1.1 and the 10% balanced out, so it was just 1 to 1 plus 0.1. And I did that, and it was like, no, you needed to do that and add on another 10%. So I added on the 10%, and then I over pulled it. <laughs> fucking hole. Moving the greenskeepers out here. This is the hole right here. That this is the the Bill Murray hole where the groundhogs are underneath of the cup and they're moving the cup around. They're moving it around, just inching it around. Bastards. Rat. Bastards. Hole number four. What is? What is? Jeez. Flying through them and I haven't picked anything up. All right. All right. All right. Taking a sniper, and I think I'm not sure what ball I need to bring. I think I can do it with a katana. I think 
choice the wind blowing that, that wind's blowing good for us good I might have to bring out a power three ball I have that panned to bring out either one of those I'm gonna take a sniper and I am ready to roll I think I think we're doing this with a sniper pretty sure pretty sure pretty near There's their men, so they're like in mid club, even with a navigator. They're eking towards Max. Let's see what kind of a, well, fuck, who knows what kind of a pull they did. They got jerked up when they got into the sand. Perfect though. Perfect. Let's see if that what if that pull got them off track. Who knows what the way that the pull was, like whether or not that was right. There was some kind of a jerky deal down there. 7.5, nine rings, jeez. with the wind. And I got jerked out by the same deal. And it put me slightly off. So it should be slightly off down here. <laughs> Rat bastard. It was, it was, the deal was, is I could be too far on the, on the right where my opponent was at, or I could push it back over on the other side of that hump, but I needed to be just a little teeny bit. I needed that little teeny bit where it was trying to roll over the corner to get me on track. And that's where I encountered the sand. Damn it. I should have put some side spin on it. I could have pushed it more that direction and separated myself from the sand. I like to take that shot with no side spin if I can. I don't, I don't, if I put any on there, it, it, it couldn't have been much. Damn it. Damn it to hell. That was a golden opportunity right there to pick up a shot. That was some low hanging fruit and I just walked right past it. I am, I am not going to get an A in this class. That was like extra credit. You get an A from the teacher. You get a... You get a little gold star above your head. Damn it. All right, we got a great opportunity on this hole. Now, there are some, okay, I, <laughs> the other day I did come out here with an APOC and a power three ball and I did get into this area and I was able to use the wind and I got through this gap, got over the sand and got through it. I can do that and it puts me in a perfect shot to do the deal or I can take the shot from up here which is pretty much the same shot but it's with a wood instead of a like a short iron, long iron. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. I did I did take chances on this hole. I don't know if I like that wind. What I don't like about that wind is when we take our second shot, that wind's blowing across the course in this direction. So that means that when we're here taking our second shot, we're gonna have almost a pure side wind. But if you're trying to do the max shot up here and you're doing max overpower, it's kind of nice when it's side wind or even slight headwind because then it's consistent where you're going to land here. But with the tailwind, it carries a lot and you can get caught up in that sand trap. I think that wind might work for us though. I still have to take it out, but I think that wind will work. I'm going to go... For, I, this is the one hole that I am kind of having fun and I am going for it. The smart, the smart play is to lay it up out here because you got a great shot at it. And I'm not so sure that that isn't the smart play. Let me think about it. If I play the smart play, you can, you can bring out... You do, just in case you don't get enough distance, you do want to have a side spin ball, but... 
so it doesn't hurt to have a katana. Yeah, that shot right there is appealing. It's appealing. too far. Four top spin. Seven four. There's five, six, seven, four. I'm gonna do about half curl. Out to the per out to the pink. And I hit it two rings great to the left. Nicely, nicely out into the shadow with a straight ass shot to the cup. And this is 1.1 times whatever the wind is. It's mid club. So it should be 1.1 per ring. Divided by 1.1 plus 0.1. So it's going to be the wind plus 0.1. That's basically, I think, where it's going to be. I should have brought us. I should have. I should have brought a precision ball for the second shot here. I didn't even think about it. That would have, that's a good. That was a good call right there on my opponent's part because they got a. They got the same perfect dash shot that I got. Sniper, there's Max, there's Man, so I'm at mid sniper, so I'm at one to one, so it's 7.2 plus one, 7.3 rings. It will roll out just a bit, 7.3. Let's get lined up. There's five. There's six, there's seven, three. Isn't it perfect? See how close we can get. See if I gave myself a look at it. <laughs> Need to pull it just a little more. Just a titch more, like 15% instead of 10. But the way the wind was blowing right there, just pulling it a little bit more, it's pushing it. It's it's making it fly forward and pushing it that direction. Just a little more. But it was a good call to bring a precision ball. In. It doesn't seem like... You can see how far me and my opponent hit forward. And we're still two rings, three rings off of this transitional surface. So you can see if you don't hit it into the shadows, this little peninsula here, which looks like when you look at the overview picture that it's not in the way at all, is, is nothing but in the way unless you can hit up into the shadows where you can straighten it out to the cup. That's why if you play with the marlin a lot, you'll find yourself a little short of the shadows and when you come to the cup, you'll have to add a little curl on it in order to bring it around. And that's a whole new variable we don't want to add when we're playing tournaments. Making us wait, Big G. Come on, Big G. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. You're making us wait for your pet. See, the, the song ended and they immediately started doing it. Tell me. It's the deep state. The 
flat earth thing. All right, hole number six. Hole number six. I did give myself a look on that one. Okay, I have fucked this hole up more times than I've made it this week. I've been in the right spot, I think, once. I'm not even sure if I've been in the right spot once. But there is a spot right here where you can do the T rough bump. I'm not so convinced, like in pro, I'm just going to shoot for this spot trying to get up there. But you have to, I think in pro, no matter what, you have to bounce over from here. So I'm going to bring a bigger power ball on this side, and I'm going to use a big topper, even though I, I could have used this like a power four ball with a, another club to get me up in here, but I'm gonna use a power five ball and my big topper so I can run that toss in and really try and get up there. I think if you can get up there far enough, there is an issue with your red line here that if you, if you, if you don't get up there far enough, your red line's right where you're trying to do the rough bump, but if you get up there far enough, you're actually in your, your long iron, but I don't think you can get that far in pro. But I'm going to just try and get up there as far as I can. We'll see what the deal is. And I would normally, I would normally take this shot with this bag. But in this situation, I think, I'm not sure it's close enough that I can get there with the three and a half topspin. It might take more topspin than that to get me there. But it does give me backspin options if I'm in the red line issue. Hmm, decisions. Do I take the Guardian? Or do I take a Sniper? Let's take the Sniper. I think I can, I think I can, I think, I think I can get it done with the Sniper. It's all about distance though. Damn it. Well, what it could bring. This could bring a cataclysm. Gives me a pretty close ball guide, but it does give me distance and it gives me top spin. Let's select that bad boy. The big dog gives me the same thing the cataclysm gives me, but more top spin. But the ball guide right here is really helpful. And I'm going to take a. I think I only need a Titan. The king of balls. I think that's all I need. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. That wind is neutral. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's 2.1 per ring. 2.1 times 2.1 divided by times 2 divided by 2.1. I can tell you, you need to hit this drive perfect. And I should bring out a power five ball if I'm doing this. What was I thinking? I brought out, I put a power three ball in there, but I need to pick out a power five ball. I'm losing yardage with the big topper versus the extra mile, but I think if I bring out a power five ball, I can get, I can net more, I, I can get to the same spot in the front, and then I have a 100 toss when it's at 85, maybe. Max top spin and however much side spin I can get on. And I don't know if I can get any farther than I would if I just brought out my number one bag. All right, all right. That's how we're gonna play it. That's how we're gonna play it. I get close up here on the top. Seven three, seven point three, three point nine nine rings. Four rings. Lean just a little. Hit it one ring grade on the left. And in my opinion, as long as I make it through this first couple bounces, that was the best way to hit it great too. 
because at the end it tails off down here and you can imagine what a one ring grate to the right what it would have did right there it would have tailed off it if it wouldn't have it would have been super freaking close the farther down there you hit it the more like when it starts to drift that direction it's carrying all that stuff towards the end as it's rolling out and it it has a tendency to wash out on the right so you got to keep everything to the left for as long as possible preferably preferably what are we doing on the shot here extra mile titan maybe power five with goliath and cat big dog i don't have any notes as far as to the cup i think i've tried some stuff and nothing's worked there's Max. There's Man. Six point one. I'm just gonna do the six point one. I'm gonna do one to one. That's with ten percent. So there's five or six point one. Hitting it perfect. We'll see. Just straight up. And a straight up is an overpool. Well, I did 10% there. I was out mid and I did one to one. So I should have just did where I was at. Dagnabbit. Now you tell me. It's a little late now, man. Come on. Let's see if my opponent makes it. That, that, my friends, is brutal. Brutal right there. I'm dropping one off the minimum. Not me, but them. I'm at least having fun. I'm at least going. I'm at least trying to, I'm at least trying to give myself a look at it. That's the whole goal is just to give myself a look at it on every hole. I haven't achieved anything yet, but uh, I have at least given myself a look on every hole. So far. I still got. Whole, I still have an opportunity. I got seven, eight, nine. We need to come out of each set having picked up something, and I have not achieved that. So I've just played the minimum score. But like, we could come out and have pick up three right here, right here. Let's do it. Let's make a pact. And on these next three holes, we're just going to pick up three. Who's on board? Okay, I'm on board. I'm on board. I'm taking a rock. I'm taking my rock and a navigator. What, what hole is hole number seven? What is hole number seven? I don't even know that I'm thinking of the right hole. Oh. Man, I'm telling you, the wind here is doing some deal. The wind is blowing. I think the wind today is blowing. Well, at least in Ricky, it was blowing like this. Ah, uh, it was blowing headwind today. There's a wind deal in here, an adjustment that you have to make, and I think I did like plus 10, and it was not. It Yesterday, I did plus 10, and it, it, fuck, it almost pushed me two rings forward into the rough, but I was still on trajectory, which is what's really weird about it, is the wind did push me forward, but I was still on trajectory, so I don't know, like, if I, if my original pull was wrong, or what, or I was long, I, I don't know what the deal was. Today, I did a plus 10, and I was quite a distance away from the sand, and it, fuck, I clipped the sand, or clipped the rough, almost hit the sand, clipped the rough and got out and was on the fairway right there and had a short little chip, but damn, I damn near jacked that shot up. So it's gotta be bigger than a plus 10 on the second shot. It's gotta be like a plus 20 or a 30 or some shit. It's a, it's a much bigger adjustment than 10. I hate being in an area like this where the wind's blowing like this and you're trying to bounce over and you involve the sand and then once you involve the sand, some shit changes, and now that adjustment 
put you, you know, where you over pulled it. It's nice if you can start off in the center of this and have full access to it. So you got a couple rings forward, two, three rings forward, two or three rings back, and then have your second bounce so that if you, if the wind does make a little bit of a movement, you can still clear here and you're still in the good stuff on the first bounce. I think that's the smart play here because the only other play is to come out, I think, with this account and really try to go for it over here. And I think the other day I did come out with a power five ball and the way the wind was blowing, I think we had this kind of wind and I was using the wind to make it so that I would rough bump and I bled out and I was right here and I had this shot. But this shot's not as easy. If you have upper developed clubs, you can make this shot. But with lower developed stuff, this can be a tough shot because it's like side hill, reverse bank. You gotta have a lot of side spin. You gotta have a lot, it's a tough shot. I'm, I'm torn on which way to play this hole. I really wanna go for it and go to the left, but I am just trying to play conservative here, so I'm gonna go to the right. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to do it with that bag right there. And probably a katana. It's clear a slot. Clear. Win and holes. Do I have a club card trading available in this account? Let's make sure I, we don't get to 5 o'clock and forget I got a club card trading. I wasn't playing this account, so I was running out, so I had a bank, but now I'm playing it a little bit more, and I'm I'm seriously thinking about getting rid of my bank and updating that club. I'm like seven away in my 77 account. I'm not very far away and I'm, I'll be at 10,000 and when I get to 10,000 I'm going to open it. I'll get it on video. I've had that chest like that. It's been my bank for a long time. All right. All right. There we have it. Let's, let's let's play. Let's let's play. Let's switch that ball first. We're gonna go to a katana. Uh, I need to buy some katanas. Let's buy nine and select it. Play. Here we roll. The deal about going to the left and trying to get over is there is the possibility we've and anybody who's played the game for a long time or played this hole very many times and tried to go to the left there there is the possibility that you could end up in the drink and end up out of bounds and the shot on the le on the right hand side you definitely don't have that possibility and you don't need to get very far down there shit you can damn near do it with your wood it's almost a wood wood shot Opponent's trying to hit it all the way down to the end, and let's hope that they end up in the fairway. And they should, maybe, with that. Maybe. And they did, and they ended up way down there, not quite all the way to the end. And we'll see if there's a difference in the angle, because I'm convinced that my angle's better. <laughs> and what you want to do you want to get lined up so that you're really kind of coming at it right in there. So max back spin. Coming at it right in that spot right there. 6-9. I'm just going to do a max pull. 5, 6, 7 rings. One ring great to the left. None of that should have any bearing at all on that shot. Other than it puts me straight, dead center, right across, no side spin, directly at the hole. And I'm in the deepest part of that little pad. Hmm. 
my opponent's angle at it, you draw the line here, I can go down into this depth and they can only go down into there. If they want to go over to where I'm at, they have to put more spin on it. I'm not sure there's that big of a difference between the areas, but... Man, I gotta go pee like a racehorse. I do. I gotta go talk to a man about a horse. If I can get it set up here. There's my red line. Give myself enough room to work the wind out. Seven point three. Nine point four nine rings. There's five, six, seven, eight. There's nine. perfect and I hit the rough hit the sand under pulled it I did a 30% adjustment on that too 30% and still under pulled it damn I'm in big ass trouble. Big, big trouble. Big trouble. And I laid it up to put it in that spot. The deal is, is that I had to go, I had to talk to him about a horse so bad that I was, I couldn't hardly stand still. <laughs> it hit me. I've been drinking coffee all morning and it finally dawned on me. <laughs> Hold on. Jeez, what a what a fiasco that whole episode was. Like literally, uh, it snuck up on me, and then it was uh, right now, right now. Damn it! Now I gotta pick one up just to make that up. What kind of shit is that? 1.5, 1.5 times, times, times. I'm using a Thor's hammer. I'm using my number four bag. Bring a number four out to the forefront. And what are we using? A katana. I got that selected. Here we roll. Thor's hammer. Katana. At max. 1.7. All right, I'm ready. And my opponent is using a Thor's hammer with max backspin, no side spin, going right at it. One side spin. One left hand side spin, that one left hand side spin, they should take that off. It's kind of screwing them up. Maybe with the wind the way it's blowing today, and uh, that might help, having a little bit of that side spin on there. Maybe. And they're way off. Way off. All right, here we go. 
Here we go. 7.5. 7.5. Six point seven one rings. Six point seven one rings. There's five, six. Seven one exactly. Isn't it perfect? We'll see how close we can get. We can see if we give myself a shot at it. And I will tell you that I will say that while I'm short of the cup, I am happy that I over pulled it because the last two times I've been here I did like a uh, 20% adjustment or something and I was like way off of the cup so I took a massive swing at it right there and did 50% so I obviously over pulled that which might have been part of the reason why it was you know it, as far as speed so you don't know as far as speed goes whether it was right or not because it was so far I over pulled it so far all right damn it myself a putt. In the hole. Caught it. Right on the corner. Alright. All right, now it's all, we've laid all of our hopes on hole number nine. And hole number nine, I'm taking my number one, my number five bag, and I'm taking a Kingmaker. Kingmaker, Heartbreaker. All right, no more than four topspin. No mo. Three left in side spin, plus 10 on the drive. 1.9 times, whatever the wind is, divided by 1.5. All right, I'm ready. 5.4, doing four rings. Four rings on the drive. Four rings. Four top spin. No more than. I'm gonna get up here two rings off. Trying to get my second bounce as high up on that hill as possible. Four rings. Puts me a third of a ring into power. I'm going to lean just a little that direction and just a slight bit of overpower. Perfect. I have no things other than that should just be a perfect through the deal up to the shadow. Everything's perfecto. If I'd have hit that great to the left to the right, I would have stayed over. I would have sat over my device looking at it, waiting in anticipation to see what each bounce did as it played out. <laughs> the second bounce being the critical bounce. The first bounce had lots of room. Lots. I have no fucking clue how to play this hole. I have tried taking some wind off, and I have tried adding some wind on, and I have tried adding on just a point here, and it doesn't seem, it, once again, this is a groundhog hole where they're moving the pin around. I have no idea. No idea. I should be. Yeah, that that is. Yeah, yeah, you're in the shed. You might be able to recover from there. You can. You can at least put yourself in a. I think you can bridge the gap, and you can put yourself over on the green side, and you can at least give yourself a look at it. I'm at max club. Max. It's one per ring. And it is definitely rolling out, but not as much as you think. I was short earlier. I did minus. 
one to the cup. So instead of four six, I did four five. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try four four. There's four four. Isn't it perfect? We'll see if I can get even close. situation right there I needed to add on <laughs> part of it might be how it tails off where it's just breaking on that side or the other and how it's tailing off but like right there I needed to add on wind and I've done plus 10 and I've done plus 5 and I've done plus 0.1 do five you needed to do zero if you do zero you need to do minus five if you do minus five you need to do zero if you do zero you need to do plus ten <laughs> no it's plus one it's a freaking groundhog hole what's what's jacked up is so far this week i haven't hit an alvey on this hole and this is a hole that usually in in the tournament i will hit an alvey at least once during the week on this hole and i haven't hit one yet this week so I don't think I've gotten an Alvi this week. And I have one account left to play. My opponent did put themselves in, a, in at least a makeable spot. Now, you got a thorn. It's got it's a fucking thorn nine. It's got four something ball guide. Why go for the trick shot and do the backspin deal where you can get the slope? Like if it hits on one of those and there's a hill right there, it's gonna take a bounce to the left or the right and it could miss the target. Whereas you could run it up, you've got a shit ton of ball guide. You could you could put two or three backspin on it, let it release out to the hole, and use your ball guide. It's not a one trick pony, especially when you're eyeballing it. I think they would have had a better like there are times when a thorn should you can use a thorn and use backspin and it as you have a huge advantage but there are some times where you can use it the other way and you have a huge advantage because it's got so much ball guide all right 33rd that'll probably get me a fuck that'll that probably won't even be top 50 by the time it's all done so you can't shoot less than minimum score and expect a fifth and expect anything better than a 50. All right, there you have it. I, that, what a disappointing pro. And this is a tournament that you could very easily go up to and be up at the top and, and have a shot at it. Because one of these people down here breaks into the 15s or gets a, in a good streak there in the catbird seat. But a 14's putting you in the hunt for a banner. Just picking up two. <laughs> thanks for watching. If you're, if you're a subscriber, thanks. I appreciate it. If you're not, hit subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, ring the bell, and I will see you on the next one.